questions. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to give you an introduction to a topic area that you might have considered, might not have considered before. And we'll look at that over the coming weeks and in some short video clips. So the topic area we're going to talk about just now is an area called the feasts or the festivals of the Lord. In scripture, you see Jesus, Yeshua, our Messiah, fulfilling and enjoying and being part of lots of festivals. If you look through the Gospels, you see him involved in all of that. These festivals are a really big deal and, and tell us something about the Lord. Not only that, you see Paul writing the epistles about the, about the festivals and the feasts. There's something going on with them that sometimes I think we miss because we don't understand or don't have the revelation of what the scripture is really saying. So I want to illuminate some of that to you, make you think a little bit, open your eyes hopefully, show you some scripture and let you think on that and pray on it um, as the Lord leads. Before we get there, and the scripture of that is in Leviticus chapter 23, what we would call the Hebraic scriptures, or you might call the Old Testament. Before we get there, I want to ask you a broader question. Really, the broader question is, what do we do with this Hebraic scripture or Old Testament scripture? How, how do we apply it to our lives? I mean, if you're honest, a lot of what we read in what we call the Old Testament or the Hebraic scriptures is very different for us than how we apply our life in Yeshua, uh, Jesus and Messiah. It's very different context. So how do we read that and apply it to our lives? There's a danger with what we do sometimes, whereby we say, we don't really understand that Old Testament stuff. We don't really understand exactly what's going on there. Therefore, we gloss over it and we don't seek to apply it to our lives at all. And therefore, we, we just ignore it or at best kind of read it but don't apply it and of course all that needs unpacking what do we do with that scripture before we get there I want to take you to a scripture in a in, in a book called 2 Timothy 2 Timothy is an epistle written from Paul to Timothy we know Timothy is the pastor at a place called Ephesus we think some of these are these two Timothy letters are the last words of Paul to the young pastor and in the midst of all this Paul writes this 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17 he says this all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of God might be complete thoroughly equipped for every good word now you've probably heard that before you might read it in different translation but basically what it's saying is it's saying all scripture Old Testament New Testament all scripture is given by God and is useful for certain things. Most scholars think that 2 Timothy was the last letter that Paul wrote. You can almost read this as his last words to, from Paul writing to Timothy. In the midst of these like last words, last bits of advice that he's giving, he's giving a reminder that all scripture is vitally important for the believer's life. If you take a step back from there and think, well, what does Paul mean by all scripture? You see, the way we have scripture today didn't really appear until after Paul's death kind of the 300s onwards when it was all canonized and agreed that that was all scripture. So what is Paul writing about when he's talking about scripture? Because when he's writing this, his letters are just letters. They're not really scripture. Yeah. Paul's writing to Timothy sometime around AD 67, 68. So what did he mean by all scripture? Well, certainly not his letters, things that we call scripture. Not even the gospel accounts were written and finalised until the kind of 300s and all of that kind of canonization that happened. So Paul's really talking about what we call the Old Testament, so which could have been agreed upon, could have been canonised as early as kind of 140 BC. So what he's saying is somehow all this thing that we call scripture, which he's talking about being Old Testament stuff, is applicable for New Testament believers. Not only is he saying that, but he's actually, if you think about who he's talking to, he's talking to Timothy, who passes a church in Ephesus, which is not downtown Jerusalem. This is kind of in present day Turkey. Mostly Gentiles that have come to faith. And he's saying, actually, all this Old Testament stuff somehow is useful and applicable to your lives. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? How do we apply this to our lives? So that takes us into Leviticus, the Feast of the Lord. And allows us to ask the question, Lord, how does this feast stuff, how does what you've written in Leviticus chapter 23, all about the feasts and festivals, how does that apply? Knowing that, in some way, it must apply because of what Paul's written to Timothy. 